but so proudly we at the twilight's last To us, Alma Dalin is the essence of the democratization of ideas. In the spirit of Alma Dalin, I hope every one of you has a fantastic time today. Let's raise our glasses in a toast to the 238th birthday of the United States and to Independence Day. Ladies and gentlemen, to you as ever, skull our friends. This year, for the first time ever, the U.S. Embassy is hosting its 4th of July party outside of Stockholm, outside of the capital, on the island of Gotland in Visby. Why? Because Visby, this week in July, is the host of the annual Alma Dalen celebration in Sweden. I, I just find it ironic that on the 4th of July I find myself in Sweden, but I find myself with these so many these wonderful people who have a genuine love for the United States. And I'm just so proud to be a part of this event. I'm looking forward uh, to uh, having some good American food. I've got a Brooklyn beer. All these things are going to be very exciting and be able to share my holiday of independence with so many people from all over Sweden and really from all over the world. I'm the governor of Gotland and we are now at my residence or the governor's garden. Today we're celebrating the 4th of July for the first time here on Gotland like this. For someone who doesn't know what Almendalen is, how would you describe it? It's uh, an event where we actually celebrate uh, democracy and freedom of speech. Uh, well, it's, um, it's a week on an island and it's, it's, um, it's a concentrate of politicians, uh, journalists, lobbyists and organizations that's trying to connect each other with each other. It's fantastic and unique. It's a democratic festival and uh, when you walk around you kind of listen everywhere people are discussing politics and uh, uh, about the society and all people here are very involved and engaged and, and it's a peaceful thing that's going on. I try to describe it as a very informal World Economic Forum in miniature. It's almost surreal the way that meetings happen here. So my key thing is that meetings can take place anytime, anywhere, any place. All parties in parliament are present. Most of the parliamentarians are here for some days. Most of the political journalists are here. A lot of lobby groups, a lot of trade unions, companies, a lot of uh, civil society is here. It's very difficult to do anything else in politics anywhere else in Sweden during this week. I think you can come here for different reasons. I come here for business and I've been able to meet with a number of clients and uh, potential clients. Generally speaking, my favorite takeout is walking up and down Hestgatan where you meet with people and you can fill your calendar with meetings by just walking there. I've been here now since Sunday. I've been talking constantly. <laughs> I almost lost my voice and there's still two days to go. But Alvin Allen is fantastic and in a way it's the kind of, uh, as the ambassador said, the combination of uh, the discussion and knowledge is not a fee anywhere. Everyone can just walk into seminars, participate in the discussion. Swedish government is here, uh, a lot of people from all over the world, a lot of researchers and a lot of ordinary people and everyone is mixing together in a very friendly mood. And it's all about the future. Everyone is very accessible. You can meet the party leaders, ministers, uh, and come up to them and ask them a question personally. It's very uh, transparent, I would say. And uh, I mean, it's open for everyone to come as well. Being in, a, in the government, I would say, it's, it's a way of meeting very many of those people who actually are uh, very deeply interested in, in, in my fields of responsibilities. And, and taking part of other organizations uh, um, seminars and initiatives. The reason why it's succeeding here in Sweden is because Sweden is a really anti-violence uh, society. So I, I don't think it's okay everywhere. <laughs> like in Iraq it will be disaster. <laughs> Maybe in the Kurdish parts <laughs> but not, uh, not everywhere else. Yeah. America maybe, yeah. Because in America we have a good debate uh, climate. Describe uh, the atmosphere at Almendalen during the, this week. Uh, how has it been? 
Very lively. So I didn't get as much sleep as I thought I would. You know, you just go from one place to another and you have very interesting conversations and everybody's incredibly friendly. And I think being in a space together makes people open to, uh, to meeting and hearing different points of view. So it was great. Thinking of your TEDx talk yeah, last night, would you say the Almendalen is an idea worth spreading? Definitely. I think Almendalen is an idea worth spreading. Yes. We should all come back. <laughs> I really, I really appreciate the initiative from from US to to be here and celebrate their important day. I, I think it's the right spot to be here because most of important people, party leaders, etc., are they they are here in Gotland and Visby for for the moment. So, I think uh, US has taken a, a good opportunity to also support this week. Actually, this is fantastic. It 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 reeks of Americanism in here. <laughs> It would be great to have something similar in Sweden. It's much more people than I expected, and there were about 400 people here today. So the ambassador and Natalia have really found a fantastic crowd to be here.